How can you make solving an equation easier when there are multiple terms? For example, negative 7x minus 5 plus 2 equals 24. In this lesson, you will learn to solve equations by combining like terms. Let's review. An equation is similar to a scale. Both sides of the scale have to be equal in order for the scale to balance. The properties of equality say that I can add, subtract, multiply, and divide the same number to each side of the equation and it will be true. So in the equation x plus 2 equals 5, I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides of my equation. This leaves me with x is equal to 3. So it looks like 3 is the solution to this equation. We don't know if it really is a solution until we try it. So on our scale, let's replace x with 3. So I have x plus 2 equals 5. When I replace 3 into x, I'm left with 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. 5 equals 5, so 3 will be a solution to this equation. A common mistake that's made when solving equations is combining unlike terms. In this expression, 2x plus 7 plus 4x minus 2 minus 5y, we want to combine like terms. But before you can combine like terms, you need to understand what they are. A term is a single part of an expression. They are connected to each other through addition and subtraction. Like terms would be terms that have the same variable. Constants, which are numbers on their own, are like terms. Coefficients are the number in front of the variable, and they represent the number used to multiply the variable. So in this expression, 2x plus 4x are like terms and 7 and negative 2 are like terms. So when I combine my like terms, my resulting expression is going to be 6x plus 5 minus 5y. Combining like terms does not change the value of the expression, so it doesn't change the solution to the equation. Also, combining like terms is not a requirement for solving, but it is helpful in writing the equation in a form you can more easily work with. How can we solve 2x plus 3x equals 45? When we look at this equation, we notice that there are like terms on the left-hand side. And if we combine these like terms, 2x plus 3x, we get 5x is equal to 45. Using the division property of equality, we're going to divide both sides by 5, and our solution is x is equal to 9. Let's check our solution to make sure it works. So we're going to use the substitution property of equality and replace x with 9. So I have 2 times 9 plus 3 times 9 equals 45. 18 plus 27 equals 45. 45 equals 45. So 9 is going to be a solution to that equation. Let's look at that equation again. We found out that 9 was the solution to the equation because when we substituted 9 in, 45 was equal to 45. What happens if we put 9 into our terms that we combined? So instead of having 2x plus 3x equals 45, if I replace 5x, because I combined 2x plus 3x, if I replace x in that term with 9, does 5 times 9 give me 45? Yes. So that means that my combined terms are equivalent to my original terms. What is the solution for negative, x, negative 7x minus 5 plus 2 equals 24? We have like terms on the left-hand side, so we're going to combine those constants. So we end up with 7x minus 3 equals 24. To solve this equation, we are going to use the addition property of equality and add 3 to both sides, which gives us negative 7x equals 27. Then I'm going to use the division property of equality and divide both sides by negative 7. So x is equal to negative 27 over 7. To check our solution, we're going to replace x in our original equation. 
So I have negative 7 times negative 27 sevenths minus 5 plus 2 equals 24. That gives me 27 minus 5 plus 2 equals 24. 24 equals 24. So negative 27 over 7 is the solution to this equation. Now we found out that negative 27 over 7 was a solution to this equation. But what happens if we combine unlike terms? So let's pretend that negative 7x minus 5 plus 2 equals 24 and that those three terms are all like terms. So if I add them all together, I get negative 10x equals 24. Now we know we can't add them all together because they don't all have a variable. They're not like terms. This is just an example of, of what will happen. So I'm going then to, div to divide both sides by a negative 10. And I'm going to get x is equal to negative 24 over 10 or negative 12 fifths. Let's check that answer. So if I replace x with negative 12 fifths, I end up with 84 fifths minus 5 plus 2 equals 24. 13.8 equals 24 doesn't work. So this tells me that I made a mistake somewhere. And in our case, we did not combine like terms. In this lesson, you learn that you can solve linear equations by combining like terms.